I'd met so many people and some great friends all around the world. And all of a sudden they weren't there anymore. Straight talking, Greg Smith has been through the highs and lows that come with being a high performance athlete and confronting disability. I was lost here. I didn't know what I wanted to do, where I wanted to go. Um, I suffered from depression in those sort of first couple of years. Strength and determination have seen him come through the lows, moving to a life that is more fulfilling than ever. Still got it, Dan. Let's go. One minute. Let's go. Finish it off. On any day of any given week, this is where you'll find Greg. He's revered as one of Australia's most fiercely competitive athletes. His latest challenge, assistant coach of the Australian wheelchair rugby team. For the next four years, 42-year-old Greg will focus on driving his players towards the world number one ranking. All right, easy warm down, then we'll have a stretch. Nice Greg, work, mate. good session. How you going? How you getting on? How's things, mate? Yeah, not too bad. Good, good to see you again. Yeah. So you still got the boys pushing for gold? Yes, mate, yeah. Silver was all right, but yeah, we want the yellow one. Gold does feel pretty good, mate. <laughs> yeah, so well, yes. Have to keep them at it. We'll keep working hard for it, mate. Exactly. In truth, Greg is a good mate. But the old Kiwi-Aussie rivalry is always there. To be fair, the Aussies came close in Beijing. Pip for gold by the USA. As assistant coach of the next Australian Paralympic team, Greg aims to reverse that result. Good job, boys. Nice session. That's the way we do it. Don't be fooled by that innocent smile. Greg is an absolute demon when it comes to winning. I should know, I've played with him and against him. It's an attitude that's seen him rise to the pinnacle of Paralympic glory. Back in 1987, Greg was a physical training instructor in the Australian Army. He was in his element. But driving, on the job from Sydney back to his post in Victoria, Greg fell asleep behind the wheel and hit a tree. He fractured his sixth and seventh vertebrae. I mean, this was 22 years ago, so uh, someone in a chair then, especially a quad, was never really given much kind of hope in terms of um, you know what you physically that you might be able to do with your life or what you can do and where you, where you could head to. It was more um, more about survival back then. Greg was paralysed from the chest down and was left with little function in his hands. But he wasn't about to sit back and be part of the status quo. And so began the journey from this to this. Greg represented his country in track and rose to number one in the world. His medal haul is impressive. It includes two world records, a bronze medal in Atlanta, silver in Barcelona, and three golds at the Sydney Paralympics. According to former track coach Paul Angel, Greg is one hell of an athlete. As an athlete, Smitty was uh, focused, determined, hardworking. I don't think I ever saw anyone train as hard as Smitty. Um, just just determined to, to achieve as much as he could in the sport. All right, same again. Ready? Go. Because of Greg's classification, he was basically racing against less disabled athletes. 35. It meant he had to train smarter and much, much harder. Let's go. 30 seconds. Push it out. Since in 1999, we went overseas and he got his butt kicked by two or three guys. Uh, the problem was he couldn't accelerate the same speed as they could. Five seconds, come on, push it out. And he worked on it uh, intentionally and went to Sydney 18 months later and won three gold medals against the same guys and he, they didn't even get close to him. Well, uh, grab a quick drink, you've got one minute. A national hero, Greg received the prestigious Order of Australia medal and the Australian Sports Medal, before retiring in 2002. He didn't anticipate that his toughest challenge was yet to come. Life had been structured and centred around training and competing. Suddenly, there was a huge void. Life then threw another couple of curveballs. I had a failed relationship. My house got broken into. I lost all my medals. Um, yeah, my gold medals from Sydney were stolen. They were in a huge frame and that was trashed and wrecked and sort of broken apart and that really yeah that was really sort of sad time as well because I didn't have those I've always got the memories but I didn't have anything to look at and sort of touch. He now has his partner Maya by his side and four months old son Keenan Jai. Sport now comes second close second mind you. Greg's one of the most amazing people I know he's really passionate 
about life and his sport and family. He's caring and he's really funny. Um, and he's just driven in everything that he does. And I find that really inspiring. Yeah. So do you, don't you? <laughs>